That looks familiar. <laughs> what? That looks familiar? Just kidding. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? What? This is so gross. <laughs> Hey yo, welcome back to You, Me, and the Movies. Tonight we get a special request. Special request. Granddaddy Marcus. Coming in hot. What are we watching? We're watching Life of Pi. Hey! Here's what Marcus has to say about his pick this month. Sadly, holiday-themed flicks are shamefully under-represented in my collection. Mm. Which means that we have to go in a slightly different direction. So let's watch the 2012 movie. Nope, no hints this time. Life of Pi by Ang Lee. His shout-out this month goes to the YouTube channel Eric Grinkfist, a crazy Scandinavian dude who built a somewhat luxurious cabin in the Swedish wilderness all by himself. Ooh. Go check him out. I love a cabin building. Eric Grinkfist on YouTube. So, cool. Living off-grid, probably. I love those kind of Except for he has to be YouTube on channels. On YouTube. His own grid. So, yeah, check him out. Sweet. All right, that's the first time watch for both of us. Yeah, it looks slow and boring. I'm really excited. It's supposed to be an adventure. <laughs> okay. And Ang Lang's a pretty good director, and he's an Oscar-winning director. If it's Lang. on water, it's not going to be like... There's a tiger on water. <laughs> Come on, it's going to be exciting. But let's move so slow. But I've heard this is a beautiful I have no film. doubt. It's so. award-winning. It must be fantastic. So, well, are you ready to learn all about the life of pie? Absolutely. I love pie. I like pie. I like pie. Yeah. I don't think it's that kind of pie, though. No. It's spelled like 3.14. Yeah. Pie. Yep. Sure is. Should we jump in and check it out? Let's do it. Let's do it. Go first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for this award-winning movie. This boring, slow film. <laughs> if you want to be like Marcus, check out our Patreon link down below. You might be able to snag one of our special request slots. Or you can get early access, full income, and access to polls. Help us people watch next. Link's down there. Check it out. Let's watch Life of Pie. Here we go. Is this like a four-hour movie? No, it's only two. Three and a half? Dose. Okay. Deuce hours. Deuce? <laughs> it's the deuce hour. <laughs> Sid the Sloth. I love sloths. They're so cute. Are they? Yeah. I was going to say they remind me of you, but apparently I'll keep that to myself. I don't do things slowly at all. Like, speed is my game. <laughs> you had one more E to this title, and you wouldn't be yawning. Oh, I like the way he walks. Just like you. <laughs> <laughs> I can already feel people hating this reaction. <laughs> Pumba. What? I had that bear had a necklace. Yeah. That's cute. Didn't look like he was wearing a necklace. Yeah. CGI elephant. Oh, the, the CGI elephant. You know, I think hippos are so cute. Because their butts, their tushies are just like so fat. You, you like a big butt. They're just like perfectly round. <laughs> it's a weird looking tiger. That looks familiar. <laughs> what? That looks familiar? Just kidding. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? What? This is so gross. <laughs> I wonder I just wonder what the like the evolutionary benefit is to a nose that dangles. Well, that's the plastic surgery. What? What? You didn't hear my question apparently. I'd assumed your father was a mathematician because of your name. 
No, far from it. I was named after a swimming pool. There is a swimming pool named Pi? <laughs> you see, my uncle Francis was born with too much water in his lungs. They say the doctor swung Francis around by the ankles to clear the water out. And that's what gave him the huge chest and skinny legs that made him such a great swimmer. His lessons would save my life in the end. He does have a swimmer's body. Good boy. That's what we gotta do with our daughters. Good luck. Most travelers collect postcards or teacups on their journeys. Mamaji collects swimming pools. He swims in every pool he comes upon. It's a good way to meet the ladies. That a single swim there changed his life. Oh, I was like, why does his face look so funny? He's underwater. Oh. Before I was born. No? Never mind. And I was named Pisin Malitor Patel. I barely made it to the age of 11 before. Hey, Are you pissing right now? Ouch. I am Pisin Malitor Patel. Known to all as. Pi, which is also used in mathematics, an irrational number of infinite tenth, usually rounded to three digits, as 3.14 pi. Very impressive, pi. It's a way to take control of it. Nice try, PC. <laughs> but I still had the whole day ahead of me. He just needs to bring pi to school for everybody. <laughs> Holy shit. He memorized he that memorized many of them? A lot of it. By the end of that day, I was Pai Patel, school legend. <laughs> he said, so, a Canadian who's come to French India in search of a story. Well, my friend, I know an Indian in French Canada with the most incredible story to tell. <laughs> so what has uh, Mamaji already told you? He said you had a story that would make me believe in God. Amen. Yeah, let's eat. I didn't know Hindus said amen. Catholic Hindus do. Catholic Hindus? We get to feel guilty before hundreds of gods instead of just one. <laughs> <laughs> there are 33 million gods in the Hindu religion. How can I not come to know a few of them? Hmm. Staying up reading God comics. Looks like it. Challenge. I'll give you two rupees. Run into that church and drink the holy water. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. And people put their hands in it. Ugh. I didn't get caught. God so loved this world that he gave his only son. The longer I listened this to the priest, the more I came to like this son of God. Thank you, Vishnu, for introducing me to Christ. It's a weird relationship with different religions. Mm -hmm. I like it. I do too. God works in mysterious ways. And so it was he introduced himself again, this time by the name of Allah. Allahu Akbar. He's just curious. Man. You only need to convert to three more religions, Pisin, and you will spend your life on holiday. <laughs> you cannot follow three different religions at the same time, Pisin. Believing in everything at the same time is the same as not believing in anything at all. He's young, Santosh. He's still finding his way. Yeah, still formulating opinions. I would like to be baptized. Catholic? <laughs> Where's Salvam? We shouldn't be in here without him. Stop worrying. I have seen him do this a thousand times. Oh, boy. Hello, Richard Parker. 
tiger? Richard Parker was a tiger? Yeah. <laughs> when Thirsty got too big, the hunter sold him to our zoo, but the names got switched on the paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> the hunter was listed as Thirsty, and the tiger was called Richard Parker. <laughs> we laughed about it, and the name stuck. The tiger seemed to like it more, too. <laughs> Richard Parker. <laughs> Maybe he was always kind of a dick. <laughs> Good one. Tigers are no joke. They are man killers. Yeah. That's it, Richard Parker. It's for you. Would not have your hand in there. No! I lost his hand to that tiger. Oh, it's gonna show him what's up. He said he's sorry. You want to scar them for life? Scar them? That boy almost lost his arm. But he's still a boy. He will be a man sooner than you think. And this is a lesson I do not want them ever to forget. It's gonna make you watch that tiger eat that goat through the bars. And somehow it squeezed the whole thing through the bars. Yikes. Basically crushed all of its bones. Mother made me study music, and one day my teacher came down with the flu. He asked if I could take his place playing rhythms for a dance class. Changed his life forever. Drums! And she's cute. I get it. But at the very end, you did this. None of the other dancers did that. What did you mean? The god of love is hiding in the forest? No, that also means a lotus flower. Lotus flower is hiding in the forest? Why would a lotus flower hide in the forest? Is it innuendo? Is it? <laughs> Her lotus flower is hiding in the forest? Our animals are worth far more abroad than here in India. And if the town council stops supporting us, I don't know where we will be. So, it is what we have to do. Do you understand? I'm sorry, what are we talking about? <laughs> Canada. I have some opportunities for work in Winnipeg. We can get freighter passage for the whole family. We will sail like Columbus. But Columbus was looking for India. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a point. <laughs> yeah. He just met a girl, I too. Know. You have a whole life ahead of you. We are doing this for you and Ravi. Like his mom had been crying more than he was. You don't want gravy? No. Je voudrais un plat végétarien. So you get potatoes. La vache qui a produit ce foie était végétarienne. Le cochon qui remplit la saucisse était végétarien aussi. Vegetarian sausage. <laughs> Hello. I am happy Buddhist. So I eat rice next to gravy. Gravy is not meat. It's taste. So they're all vegetarians? What? Who? His whole family. They're the Hindu part of them, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hindus are vegetarian. Why give orange juice tranquilizers? Not gonna cause any trouble. We don't want to be cleaning up after a seasick orangutan, do we? Yeah, no. No, nobody wants to do that. I think you've set the stage. So far we have an Indian boy named after a French swimming pool on a Japanese ship full of animals heading to Canada. Now we have to send our boy into the middle of the Pacific and... Uh... And make me believe in God. Which God, though? All, All of them? Of them. <laughs> oh my God. It's like fun, huh? It'd be a nightmare. Did you hear that, Ravi? I'm sleeping. It's a thunderstorm. Let's go watch. 
don't tempt a storm by... I mean, thunderstorms are fun to watch. Oh, gosh. Not when everything's moving and shaking. What does that mean? That's not good. Uh oh. That means get the fuck back inside! Debbie! Get out! Get out! Oh no. Or, oh god. The whole boat's gonna sink. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh god, is this whole family gonna drown? Is it his fault for leaving the door open? No. No. It's gotta be something underneath, right? No, make my brother! You got to win! Oh, jeez. I hate water. Ooh. Him and a dead zebra. Oh, Jesus. Oh, a live zebra. Yeah, it's probably messed up, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. That whole thing's going under, buddy. Is he calling for help, or is he whistling for them to come to him? I don't know. Yeah, he wants them to come to him. What's up? We've got to give, give us the straw. The straw? Oh. Oh, for the baby Jesus? Yeah. We'll do it in the morning, okay? For breakfast. We'll get your yeah, you know, get you your straw for the manger. Okay? okay. All right. Thanks All right. for reminding me. Good night. Good night. I love you. Love you too. <laughs> it's like 3 days ago. I was supposed to give them the straw for the manger. <laughs> she just remembered right now. <laughs> Who do we have here? Oh, it's the tiger. Yeah, the zebra's like, shit! Oh shit, I'm a dead man. He doesn't have his life jacket. A tiger or sharks? Yikes. That's horrifying. You'd think that that would have some drag, too. It would be pulling things with it, don't you think? Take his chances with the tiger? I guess. Yikes. Think his whole family just died? Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> the ocean is scary. Yeah. Over the Marianas Trench, too. Yeah, so, like. The deepest part of the ocean. <sighs> why, is he, why is he holding on to the outside? Because the tiger's in there, he thinks? He thinks the tiger's in, under the... Yeah, under the canvas. There's, there's a hyena in there, too. Yeah. He's got a little arc going. <laughs> Shit. 
What the hyena just go for the zebra? Its legs are broken. Looks as though your drugs haven't worn off yet. Oh, jeez. Orange juice. <laughs> Orange juice. <laughs> it's his name. Yeah. He's floating on bananas. Grab them bananas. So you're gonna want to eat them. Welcome to Pizark. Pizark. <laughs> Way too tired to eat, probably. Yeah. Where's your boy, orange juice? Uh. Hello. Can only manage to save one of those, one of those bananas. I guess so. He doesn't realize that he's now a castaway. He's gonna need, he's gonna need those fucking bananas. <laughs> I mean, it's... <laughs> seasick. seasick. That might mellow every animal. Because they just feel like shit. <laughs> like, who's going to want to try to eat you when they just feel like vomiting all the time? <laughs> Take charge, buddy. You got to do something here. I don't think you'll be able to stop a hyena. Oh, a zebra. Was, zebra. A zebra was dead, anyways. Yeah, but yikes. It's better the hyena eats a zebra instead of him. <laughs> Survival at sea. Grab the bananas that were floating by you. <laughs> Oh, a solar still? Brilliant. He knows. He's like, I know what to do with this. Like the she. She she knows. No, she was hoping I was food. No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't eat this. <laughs> yes! Yeah. Fucking give her a stick. You have those big fucking sticks. Hit it with a stick. Come on! Oh, shit. What was that tiger thinking? Well, that's not gonna work. Yikes. You're gonna wanna get back on that boat with the tiger. <laughs> Oof. Wow. Oh, you gotta pace yourself, dude. Oh, he's he's put extras in the his, yeah. his mini boat. I thought those were empties. Gonna make you real thirsty. Doesn't the like tiger the doesn't like the canvas, and yeah, that's weird. You'd think that the tiger would just be able to scratch right through the canvas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Peace offering. <laughs> She's that zebra, dude. You ate way too much, too fast. How do we come to an agreement? <laughs> you, can't, you can't rationalize with a wild animal.
It's beautiful. Please send help. Water's not moving at all. He's in the middle of the, what do you, what do you call that? The stillness. There's no wind. There are no lines. <laughs> He's probably in the middle of that circle that has, is just spinning on it to itself. The mind can be kept occupied by playing card games, 20 questions, or I spy. I spy another wave. <laughs> Above all, don't lose hope. Keep track of the days. Few things can sap the spirit faster than seasickness. Waves are most strongly felt when a boat turns sideways to the current. A sea anchor is used as a drag to keep the boat's head to the wind. Oh, interesting. For castaways who must share their lifeboats with large, dangerous carnivores, it's advisable to establish a territory as your own. <laughs> Turn the lifeboat sideways to the waves, accompanied by harsh, aggressive views of the whistle. With sufficient repetition, the animal will associate the sound of the whistle with the discomfort of seasickness. Oh, he's training him. Prepare to be amazed! Here it is for your enjoyment and instruction! The show you've been waiting for all your life! <laughs> Marking his territory. <laughs> oh, God. Step four. Disregard steps one through three. <laughs> <laughs> At least he only got pissed on and uh, didn't get eaten. Oh, the solar still's working. That's awesome. I need to find a way to feed him. I can eat the biscuits, but God made tigers carnivores, so I must learn to catch fish. If I don't, I'm afraid his last meal will be a skinny vegetarian boy. For sure. He won't be thrilled with it. Patience! He would taste so gamey. <laughs> Veggies. I mean, that's what tigers are used to eating now. Yeah, watch out. You're next. Uh, didn't think about how you'd get back in the boat, did you, Richard? Hunger will make you do stupid things. What am I doing? Yeah. What are you doing? It's like, I gotta get the tiger back in here. Oi. Tiger's gonna be exhausted if it's floating out there forever while he's doing this. I mean, it's smart enough to know that he helped, right? Yeah, it must be. Just don't know that it, that's enough to overcome animal instincts. I mean, in yeah. this case, it's a movie, so I'm sure it will, but. 32 cartons of biscuits. <sighs> it's not a safe place to put all that. No. Well, that the big fish the tiger went after is that big. <laughs> no luck with the hook, but. Where's your hatchet? Hit it with something. I think it's just thick, too. I'm sorry. Uh, 
That's kind of a beautiful way to show the the life leaving and mm. well, that's gorgeous. Touch but one. yeah, careful. You get stung. Well, some sort of luminescent situation. Oh shit. Ties the whale to jump with this splashing. Of course, I brought all the biscuits and water on the raft with me to keep yeah. them safe. Got starting fish. Yeah. Time to eat it raw though. Sushi. Flying fish. Here, it's yours. <laughs> it flew away. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Duck. Or open your mouth. Catch them. Catch something. Cool. Yeah, until they start biting you. Ooh, there you go, big tuna. All right, that's a tuna, right? You got all those fish. <laughs> he just wants this big one. So that's a that's got to be a tuna, right? It's like one of those common fish to eat raw. I don't know. Tuna are down deep, though, aren't they? I don't know where they are, actually. Never mind. Yeah, it's probably tuna. They're the chicken of the sea. You can eat any fish raw. Just tuna probably tastes the best. So now you're a pescatarian. It's all right. It's okay. Maybe Richard Parker can't be tamed. But with God's will, he can be trained. I'm gonna give him a treat. It's like eating a goldfish cracker for him. <laughs> <laughs> like, you got any more? <laughs> I'd just be waiting for him to fall. Yeah, like he did with the, the hyena. Wow. Where the hell are they going? Tell me you got a flare gun. Did it see him? Looks mm -hmm. like it's getting further away. Yep. That sucks. Well, at least he knows he's in a shipping lane. Right? Somewhere close to a shipping lane anyways. Just shooting your shot <laughs> with nobody around. Well, it's easier to see him at night, so... Oh, little shark. Giant squid fighting. Ooh. Interesting visuals. Eek. Looks like they're both getting a little bit of delirium or something, huh? Run out of pencil. Oh no. Oh, 
Yeah, batten down your hatches. Oh shit. Taking the canvas off. Come on, <laughs> Put the canvas back up for him. <laughs> Just lose all the supplies. Everyone's exhausted. <laughs> you have to start bailing by hand because you don't have your bucket anymore. Oh boy, where do you land? Great, now we're on an island. <laughs> I guess that's better at, than at sea. Drew Parker's already gone. It's a funky looking island. Is it floating? Interesting. Look at how rooty it is. It looked like it was floating. Meerkats? Meerkat Island? Oh, Richard Parker's gonna do some some damage here. Look at all those dead fish. Dead fish meerkat island. Is it freshwater or saltwater? Take it freshwater. What is this place? <laughs> They're all just watching. It's like, well, there's nowhere else for us to go. What comes out at night? Not the meerkats. Well, even Richard Parker's going back to the boat. That's probably, not a good sign. Probably go back to the boat. <laughs> I guess if they're safe with him, I guess he's fine. This is just Meerkat Orgy Island. <laughs> All these dead fish pop up in the little ponds. Is it because it's a fresh water inside there that... I don't know what lives in there that's eating all these things. Looks like a person. Yeah. It was a human tooth. Don't you see the island was carnivorous? During the day, those pools held fresh water, but at night, some chemical process turned the water in those pools into acid. Oh, well, like a floating Venus flytrap out there in the middle of the ocean? Or is it, is it rooted somewhere? And just took over whatever ground it was on. It's... I knew he wouldn't be late. Richard Parker! Because you're sailing at night, huh? And when I was beyond all hope of saving, he gave me rest. Yeah, so it is just floating out there. Oh, so skinny. Now I wept like a child. Not because I was overwhelmed at having survived, although I was. I was weeping because Richard Parker left me so unceremoniously. 
I know Richard Parker is a tiger, but I wish I had said, it's over, we survived. Thank you for saving my life. I love you, Richard Parker. You'll always be with me. Richard Parker's just been eating Mexican food for the last <laughs> 20 years now. The Japanese shipping company sent two men to talk to me in the Mexican hospital where I was recovering. They wanted to find out why the ship sank. They didn't believe me either. Almost a year at sea, 220 some days. 220 days? Yeah. We are not here to talk about the bananas or meerkats. Look, I've just told you a long story and I'm very tired. We are here because a Japanese cargo ship sunk in the Pacific. Something I never forget. I lost my whole family. How the storm. <laughs> what else do you want from me? A story that won't make us look like fools. We need a simpler story for our report. One our company can understand. A story we can all believe. I told them another story. Four of us survived. The cook threw me a life boy and pulled me aboard and mother held on to some bananas and made it to the lifeboat. The cook, the cook was a disgusting man. He ate a rat. The sailor was the same man who brought rice and gravy, the Buddhist. He'd broken his leg horribly in the fall. We tried to set it best we could, but the leg became infected. And the cook said that we had to do something. We need more food or we'll die. That was the whole point. You let that poor boy die in order to get bait, you monster! <laughs> the sailor... He went the same way the rat went. This is more believable. <laughs> this has nothing to do with how their ship sunk. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a story that matters. Not to them. And the cook came up and he punched me on the side of my head and my teeth clacked and I saw stars. Mother started pounding on him. With a fist screaming, monster, monster! She yelled at me to go to the raft. Nipoda! I thought she was coming with me or I'd never have. You think this is the true story? The next day I killed him. He didn't even fight back. He knew he'd gone too far. Even by his own standards. He left the knife out on the bench and I did to him what he did to the sailor. Which story was true though? So, the hyena is the cook. He is the tiger. And you're the tiger. Oh, wow. So which story do you prefer? The one with the tiger. Thank you. And so it goes with God. What did he say? And so it goes with God. Very few castaways can claim to have survived so long at sea, and none in the company of an adult Bengal tiger. That's the official report. <laughs> Is that the dancer? I don't know. Did you go back for her? I don't know. Um, my initial impression of what this was going to be is completely wrong. This was amazing. Yeah? Yeah, it was a great adventure story. Yeah. Um, castaway. Survival. Yeah, very interesting. Which story do you believe? The tiger story. The tiger story. Yeah. Just the whole... It, I think that story is actually more believable because of how he wrote... Like, if the tiger wasn't there, I wouldn't have had the will to survive myself well i think it's because he had to stay alert to feed the tiger so the tiger didn't eat the, him. yeah but that works if he was to the tiger the tiger was not there with him he was the tiger he was if yeah so the tiger to... wasn't alive within him and in those moments then he wouldn't have had the will to survive it hmm. it works both ways that's yeah. what makes it such a beautiful story i guess yeah well, we just got to see if there's any news reports of a tiger stalking the jungles of Mexico. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I think it's it's pretty great just because 
I mean, this tiger was his constant companion. Mm -hmm. It hid. The tiger hid from the hyena in the ship, in the boat, until that hyena killed the, the orangutan. orangutan. Yeah. And then that's when the tiger came Sh out and yeah. said, fuck you. Yeah, okay, so that makes me think maybe yeah. his mom did He's survive. the tiger. Yeah. He had to become the tiger in order to, yeah, survive. What about the island of meerkats? That I'm not sure about. That's <laughs> a unique one. Yeah. Well, I think this is all fiction, so it doesn't really matter if... Right, story's yeah, true, sure. So. I mean, best I can imagine is that the island w he knew was uninhabited, so, and he knew that he was no not going to survive on an island uninhabited for a long yeah. period of time With by himself. With just meerkats to eat? Right. So he knew he had to do what he could to get back out. Yeah. His, this, this is based off a novel. So it would be interesting to look up the history of that novel. Yeah. I think when he said the island would consume him, right? Like the island would... The tiger went to the boat at night and he stayed in yeah. on the island. Well, the ti if, if he is the tiger, if the tiger is him and he's separated from the tiger, then he does not have that willpower, that strength, that need to survive. survive. So he knew he couldn't stay there because he'd be separate from the tiger and he needed to the tiger to to survive. And yeah, that's just really beautiful. I, and I usually don't love a really beautiful story, you know? <laughs> Th this is, it's not... It wasn't self-indulgent beautiful yeah. you know like some people make these beautiful pe pieces of of art and storytelling and and it's self-indulgent and gross and this was not that at all it was just a very very good story yeah lots of layers and beautiful scenery too throughout yeah the imagery was very pretty yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm terrifying so the ocean is like my biggest fear oh mine too so. Just, yeah. yeah that whale part the glowing all the jellyfish and the whale that was probably the most beautiful scene so yeah and the aspect ratio changed through a lot of the scenes it was i didn't notice an aspect ratio change until the flying fish and that's when the aspect ratio got super widescreen mm. and then there was a moment where it got uh letterbox square and i think that's when they were they got hit with the other waves no it was like i think that's when they were looking down oh interesting and that was a short scene so i think for like angley probably filmed a couple scenes with different camera mm -hmm. lenses and edited them together like that one scene that's the letterbox that's usually imax oh. so he probably did one little scene with the imax camera interesting because imax is tall as it is wide almost so interesting i also wonder how much of this was practical and how much of it i mean there was a lot of digital yeah but i wonder how much of, of it CGI. was actual practical stuff too because that tiger looked real a lot of the time yeah there were moments where that tiger looked very real yeah mm -hmm. so all right well what should people comment on after life of pi i mean tell me all of your feelings about it yeah what are your theories which story do you believe right or prefer to believe. Right. Yeah. What do you got to say to Marcus? Thank you. This one was really good. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Hooray! Yeah, this uh, was worth the watch for sure. Definitely. I've always heard this was a, a great movie. So well, yeah, I'm I mean, you hear lots of things out. are great movies, and mm -hmm. most of the time they're not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, every once in a while something's yeah. really great, but usually award-winning movies aren't always sure this, that great. I don't know if this actually won anything. Well, I know it was nominated for things, wasn't it? I think it was, but I don't think it ever won. I don't want to say like 80% of the time movies in in those categories are not always yeah. as great as they as the people that make them think they are. Yeah. Like mother. <laughs> I don't know if that was even... <laughs> Another Marcus pick. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, thank you, Marcus, for picking a good one this time. Yeah. <laughs> really appreciate it. 
If you want to be like Marcus, you can like, comment, subscribe, and check us out on Patreon. Yeah. Check out our Patreon link down below. You might be able to snag one of those special request slots. You guys get early access, full income, and access to pull up. Big watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.